Hi guys, today I will be doing a reasonable care video and I'll start off by talking about the water. The water depth shouldn't be too deep because they aren't very good swimmers. Mine does fine in a 40 gallon breeder with water filled all the way up. I would put plants, sticks, rocks, etc. to help them get to the surface because they are not very good swimmers. Some might be different than others, but still I would just do it to be safe. The water should be about three times the turtle's shell length, but if you see your turtle struggling to get to the surface, then lower the water. The water temperature should be in the 70 to 80 degree range, but if the temperature is too low, then your turtle is at the risk of getting sick. You can maintain the water temperature by using a submersible water heater. You will also need a filter for about two to three times the tank size in order to keep the water clean. Without clean water, your turtle can get sick and bacteria and other organisms will begin to grow. Okay, now let's start talking about the size, lifespan, and tank size. Reeves turtles get to about four to six inches in length and will normally not exceed six inches, but it's possible. And males generally are smaller than females. Also, they can live up to 20 plus years. The minimum tank size is a 30 gallon tank, but I would recommend a 40 gallon breeder so they have more space. You can determine sex by the tail length and where the cloaca is. Males will have a longer tail than females and the cloaca will be farther away from the base of their tails than females. They will also need to be fed veggies such as red leaf lettuce, romaine lettuce, and carrot one to two times a week. Turtles of eight to ten months should be fed daily and adults every other day. Dust their food with calcium containing D3 once to twice a week and offer cuddle bone for another source of calcium. As for feeding, I would feed reef turtles Missouri, Zumet, or Reptomen as pelleted food and offer protein such as mealworms, bloodworms, the occasional shrimp, fish, crickets, and snails. For the lighting and basking area, all turtles need a UVB light to produce vitamin D3, which they need to absorb and metabolize calcium, as well as other minerals and vitamins. The second type of UV light is UVA, which is really important to the feeding, breeding, and behavior of your turtle. You will also need to have a heat source, such as a heat bulb, because turtles are cold-blooded and can't produce their own body heat. Without this lighting, your turtle will most likely get sick, and there's a chance he or she will die. For the basking area, you must provide a place for your turtle to completely get out of the water and dry off. Turtles bath to get the necessary exposure to the UV lights and a warm-up. The temperature in the basking area should be around 85 to 92 degrees Fahrenheit. Thanks for watching guys. I hope this video was helpful and if you have any questions, please comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe.